This is the Moscow Moto No Mini Tank Bag. A year ago I posted a review of the Nomax Tank Bag. And after that, Moscow Moto sent me this bag and made me promise to make an absolutely honest review about it. So let's take a look. So, August this year, Moscow Motor released a new set of products, some clothing and some bags. They now have backpacks, the Wildcat, but in addition to the Nomax tank bag, they released two newer tank bags, the medium-sized Gnome and the smallest Nomini. And the Nomini is the one we're going to talk about today. So first, the looks. The Nomax, Gnome and Nomini come in three different colors. The well-known black with the blue details, a color called Stargazer, which is sort of blue with green details, and the Woodland. The Woodland is this green version with the orange details, which I like, of course. Now, one of the unique things of the Gnome and the Nomini is that it mounts in a horizontal or landscape position on your bike. This unique mounting position allows you to stand up on your bike comfortably while still able to be moving around without the bag being in the way. Now let's take a look at the outside of the bag. On top there's this typical molly panel. A small one because it's a small bag, but it still allows you to add some of the stuff that's possible with molly. For example the Moscow Moto phone holder, a key ring, a quad lock clip, or anything you want. On top of the bag there's a carrying handle. On the rider side there's a small zipper with a small compartment behind it. And then underneath the molly panel there is the main compartment which opens with a zip that goes all around. Looking at the back there is this soft padding which prevents your bike from getting damaged. And we can already see the two buckles for mounting it to your bike. For mounting the bag to your bike, it comes with the original Moscow Motor harness. If you already own Moscow Motor products, tank bags, you can mount this bag to that same harness. There is a little difference though. On this bag, the lower straps are detachable. And this is a really handy feature, I think. Because now, when you want to take the bag off your bike to take it with you, you can leave these straps on the bike. You just release them at the top side with this little clip. And the whole strap remains on the bike. Now that was really a disadvantage of the Nomax tank bag, as you can see in my review of that bag. Because every time you took the bag off the bike, you had to do something with those straps. You had to put it around your waist or you had to put it around the bag but it was of no use. Now you can just take the bag with you without the straps. The Nomini also comes with the waist strap, which means you can use it as a fanny pack. But before we dive any further into how and when to use this bag as a tank bag or a waist pack, let's take a look at the inside first. So the bag consists out of two compartments. The main compartment and the smaller compartment behind this little zipper. Well, as I said, it's pretty small. So you can fit maybe your earplugs in there. A chapstick or a small knife, but that's about it. The main compartment is pretty organized as I like it, and which is something you see at the other Moscow Moto luggage as well. In the compartment itself, you can find a zipper on the bottom to stash your passport or any other documents, and two times elastic band. In the flap you have another pocket, a mesh pocket with a zipper, and two smaller elastic bands 
for pants or anything like that. As you can see, there's no room for a water bladder, but that's not what this bag is made for. This bag is made for taking the essentials. When you use this as a tank bag, you probably put the stuff in there that you want to have quick access to, like your passport, a multi-tool, a pressure gauge, an energy bar, your phone, stuff like that. And the waist strap also gives you the opportunity to take the stuff with you that you wouldn't want to leave on the bike. Probably the same stuff as passport and phone and all that, but also your keys and your wallet, all the other stuff you really want to keep on you. Same thing, for example, for a GPS tracker or any other communication device. In the worst case scenario where you fall and your bike falls off a cliff, you always have that stuff on you. That's very important. First aid kit, same thing. Sometimes when I go out shooting videos, I use this bag to carry my drone. My DJI Mini 2 fits in this bag with the extra batteries and I can mount the remote control with this quad lock clip on top of the molly pad. So a small disadvantage of the waist strap is that I found it pretty hard to tuck it back in the back side of the bag, especially when the bag is full. It's a pretty large strap, which takes up a fair amount of space. And especially with gloves on, this can be hard. So what I usually do when I arrive at my bike, I put it on my tank, I attach the lower straps, I attach the two buckles on the top side of the bag, and after that, I wrap the left waist strap around the bag to tuck it inside. I do the same thing for the right strap, tucking it on the left side of the bag. And now it's out of the way. It doesn't take up that much space. I can still use the bag. I can even use the carrying handle when arriving at my destination and I want to put it around my waist again. It's very easy to take out the hip strap before releasing the bag from my bike. So in this way, it's really handy for me to use this bag as a tank bag while riding, having quick access to all the stuff I need during the ride. And then when I have to leave my bike somewhere, take it off and use it as a waste bag. Of course, it's also very good possible to use it as a tank bag only. You can even take off the waist strap in total by releasing the Velcro on the inside and just taking it out. The other way around, of course, also possible to use it as a waist bag only. You just leave off the lower straps, leave them at home and use it around the waist during the ride and off the bike. And that's something you also see uh, in mountain biking a lot nowadays. Keeping the essentials on you without using a backpack so you still have some ventilation on your back. So one thing about the Gnome and the Gnome Mini is that it doesn't come with a rain cover. And these two bags aren't waterproof by themselves, so if you want to keep your stuff dry, you really have to put something on it. Now I think for this bag it isn't that big of a problem. Since you can wear it as a waist bag, you just wear your rain jacket and put it underneath the jacket to keep your stuff from getting wet. All in all, I'm really happy with this bag. I use it quite often. On a shorter ride where I would normally not take any bag at all, I just grab it with me and I put the stuff in there that I would normally put in my pockets. My phone, my keys, my wallet and whatnot. And I truly use it in both ways possible. I put it on my tank a lot, I put it on my waist a lot. It just depends on what ride I'm going to do that day. Also on a little bit longer rides where I would normally take a backpack, I would now combine those two. I still have the backpack, with my jacket, my rain clothing, some food and all that. But this bag stays on the tank or I put it around my waist to bring the essentials and all the stuff I want quick access to. A lot easier than getting it out of your backpack every time. I really hope you like this review. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video and I'll see you on the next one.